Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's special spring break edition of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you as always by Laor DC. This doesn't look like spring break. I should be on the beach with a, with a beer in my hand and a, and a book in the other hand. <laughs> I'll leave the, uh, the frolicking to the younger folks, to the wonderful students. Have fun wherever you are. Be careful. Be safe. I'm enjoying a quieter spring break here in D.C. I'm in the Marvin Center on the campus of GW, and it's a little quieter here, and I'm enjoying it, got to admit, for a little break. And in this quieter time together today, I want to share with you something deep and something inward and something very important and beautiful in all of Judaism, and that's the concept of intentions. What's more important in life, your actions or your intentions? I think you'll agree in most areas of professional life, certainly business life, worldly life, actions are what really matter. Someone you hire to do a job, paint a house or whatever, you come back at the end of your workday, they haven't done what they're supposed to do. I intended to do a good job. I really did. And then I got distracted. You're not going to pay for such a job. And even in interpersonal relationships, uh, of course, actions are so important. You say, well, I intended to say something nice to you, but just an insult came out. Well, that doesn't really cut it. But, but let's stop and think, because really, when it comes to our inner lives, our spiritual lives, intention, good intentions are almost everything. Meaning, the actions we do, the religious actions we do, we Jewish people have many mitzvot. The value of the mitzvah, the mitzvah is extremely important, can't throw out the mitzvah, but the value of it really comes down to the inner desire to connect to God, to get close to God, to improve oneself and the world by means of that mitzvah, right? I mean, if someone does something, just the mechanical action of putting on tefillin or the mechanical action of praying and just saying words you don't, does that really have much meaning? It's not nothing, not nothing. Do it because there's an old idea in Judaism and Jewish ethics that the outer action may well awaken the inner intention, but the intention is what makes the act beautiful and spiritual and elevating, whether it's putting on tefillin or praying or giving tzedakah for that matter. Of course, tzedakah helps someone. If you give a check with a grumpy face and a grumpy heart, you have helped someone, but the, the beauty of the mitzvah is related to your inner intention to do good, to be a holy person and part of a holy people. That's real. Intentions are, if not everything, they're a huge part of our divine service as Jews, as human beings, all over the Torah. We see it profoundly in this week's Torah portion, Vayikra, which begins the book of Leviticus. It deals with things we can't do in the physical sense now. The korbanos, the offerings that used to be in the temple of old. And even in the temple of old, back in the day, the Beit HaMikdash, we long for its restoration, God willing. But even back in the day, it, the main part of an offering wasn't you know, you did the sin and you brought an animal and you push a button and you're atoned for. It was always about the inner intention. We know that from all of our sources. You had to bring that animal or that flower offering with an intention to elevate yourself, that it should be a substitute for you, and the different meanings for the korbanos. But the point is, it wasn't the mechanical external act of bringing an animal that got you atonement. It was the inner change it was supposed to bring about in you, the intention. I want to be a better person. I want to be good. I want to serve God. I want to mend my relationship with my fellow man. All the, the inner life, good intentions are so, so important. May we all... Yes, of course, do external actions of mitzvot. We have to do them, and we're supposed to, but unify it with the inner intention, good intentions. I intend that you should have a beautiful, wonderful Shabbos, good Shabbos.